JBN, the place where we keep you informed. Hi guys, welcome back. Now, I thought, and I think you would have maybe assumed the same, that we had heard everything about corruption at Petrojam. But no, it has now been brought to our attention that the discarded Petrojam general manager, Floyd Grindley, racked up $1 million in cell phone charges in December 2016. Now, Grindley became the Petrojam boss on November 23, 2016. You see the date? November 23, 2016. And by December, this man had a phone bill of over a million dollars. Now, this man started working, and in the space of one month, him called every single smadu I know in Dubai, I'm assuming, for him to have that kind of phone bill. Now, Floyd took over from Winston Watson, who was seconded to the petrol... Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica as the group general manager. Now, Mr. Watson's bill for that month was $20,947.27. Divide that into a million and tell me how much times Mr. Watson's bill could have been paid out of Grindley's payment for that month. Now, uh, an official like Grindley is allowed a bill of $40,000 per month or $480,000 per year. Now, according to a source at Petrojam, some of this money was recovered. And we as a people would like to know how much of this money was recovered and was there given was Greenly given an approval to have this kind of bill. So to add insult to injury, this is the same man that is seeking a golden parachute of forty million dollars from us via the state owned oil refinery on the grounds of wrongful dismissal and reputational damage. The same man that they said was unqualified for the post of general manager as the advertised position required a postgraduate degree holder, but he had a first degree. The same man who, after 21 days in, his, in the post, cancelled a contract that he had with the NWA to fix to reinforce a concrete fence along the Petrojam's northern border and gave it to somebody else at $98 million. The same man who threw two, the, the parties, the $2 million parties, the same man who bought a, ordered a cake for a million, no million, 1,000 US dollars. This is the same man. Rack up a phone bill of $1 million. So you see why the country cannot go forward. Because we don't know how much other um, skeletons are, are being hidden in the closet. You know, but sooner or later they're going to come to the fore just the same. But this is, this is ridiculous. We seem to be a country of talkers. All they showed a bill of $8.34 million. Favor Williams had a bill of 819000 Roddy had Spence had a bill of 261000 Darrell Vaz had a bill of 630000 We're a country of talkers. Some more talk and less action, more talk and less work. That in one month, he just went into the job and in one month, he racked up a million dollar phone bill and they said that some of it was recovered. So how much was recovered? How much is he still owing to us because of free money? And something needs to be done. People need to be arrested. People need to be charged. Too much of this white collar criminal thing are going and he just, just hide away and then he just sweep under the carpet until the other party comes into power and nobody remembers anything about it. But this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But I figure there's more. There's more that is going to come forth and we're going to hear about it. Just remember, it's JBN. We keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.